Carol. Hi. Hi. Denise Upton and her crew met me and my wife Carol at the South Lake Tahoe Airport. Denise is the animal care director at Lake Tahoe Wildlife Care and was here to hand over two bear cubs that we were going to fly to Southern California. But they were too small to be hibernated throughout the winter, so we thought we would send them down south where they could feed them all winter and get them nice and fat for release. More on the bears in a moment, but first we needed to load them up. The bears are in this nearly indestructible steel crate. All the seats had to be removed from the plane before we could fit it in, and it's heavy even without the bears. But after some finagling, we finally did it. Within minutes, we're airborne, turning south and heading to San Diego County. We eventually level off at 11,500 feet, cruising down the spine of the Sierra, the bears apparently resting in their cage. They were found in the Sierra Nevada after their mother was hit by a car. The animals were already in dire condition, weighing less than 10 pounds each. Soon we were passing Hetch Hetchy Reservoir near Yosemite, and off in the distance we could see El Capitan and Half Dome. A strong headwind slowed our progress, and the cubs started to make something that Carol and I had never heard before. The angry cries of a little bear ready to get out. It's okay. It's all right. Finally, four hours after we took off, Ramona Airport came into view, and we turned into the pattern and touched down on a hot and sunny afternoon. <laughs> We met up with Matt Anderson and his crew from the Fun for Animals Wildlife Center. Again, the seats had to be removed to get the cub's crate out of the plane. We did it. Those are heavy bears. A short drive from the airport and we were at the rehab facility where we finally got our first good look at the cubs as they entered their new, albeit temporary, home. They've really been displaying all the behaviors that we would uh, be looking for, uh, especially exploring, playing with one another, sometimes fighting with one another, which is fairly typical of young cubs as well as they learn how to be an adult bear. Ken Wayne, News Nation.